new TV. Uh, it does do like reruns of uh, various games. Um, has anyone got any TV by any chance? Yeah. You've got it. Oh, brilliant. We, use, we broadcast to 60 countries around the world, 8.5 million subscribers, and very rarely do we get anyone on the tour who's got any new TV, so <laughs> fantastic. Other clubs are using that, uh, 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 are doing this now, it's a great promotional tool for them. So welcome to the VIP room. Uh, this is where the main directors of Manchester United will be. The likes of Sir Bobby Charlton as well, it's Ferguson, Edward Wood, David Gill, etc. Uh, they will spend their time in here. With the Glazers, if the owners from, of the club, if they're over from America, they'll spend their time in here as well. They have their, all their own private lounge at the back there. Unfortunately, we're not allowed to go in there. But that's where they'll entertain the directors of the opposition. We'll have a nice meal in there before the game. As I said before, this is the only section of Old Trafford you cannot buy a ticket for. To come in here, you must be invited. So if you are lucky enough to be invited into this room, you'll have a four-course meal at the top section there, and you've got the use of a fully stocked bar, serving all sorts of spirits, fine wine, champagnes, etc. And everything in this room is free. Even though lots of people do come into this room as very wealthy, they don't have to pay for it. The way of the world nowadays. You get lots of celebrities, not just from the football world, but from all over the, uh, the world, all over the uh, you know, uh, movies, TV, music, different sports. Give you an example of a few. Anyone into golf? Rory McIlroy, the golfer? Big, big Man United fan. You know, that's it, he comes in here. Another big Man United fan in the sporting world is Usain Bolt. He comes in here, only for about nine seconds. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> you know, um, lots of other people from, like I said, movies and uh, etc. Now in the room there, and I don't know why it's been put, uh, uh, oh, it's on the wall, I don't know why it's been hidden away so no one else can see it, but there's a plaque on the wall which has been awarded to Old Trafford by UEFA. And they've rated Old Trafford as a five star stadium, which is the highest you can get, which means you can host Champions League finals. Now we're the only club in the country to be able to do that, the National Stadium of Wembley can, and National Stadium of Scotland, Hamden Park can, but we're the only club. Um, we have hosted one back in 2003. Anyone remember that game, Juventus Milan? The worst Champions League final ever? It had to be here. Hopefully we'll get another one shortly, you know, it'll be a lot better. So, any questions at all before we go out into the stand? No? So what we're going to do, we're going to go out into the south stand, I'll show you where the directors of Manchester United all sit, or the directors of Fox. They're on the left hand side, on the right hand side are the directors of the opposition. Again, it is very narrow as we go through there, so could you avoid just taking, uh, uh, making sure you get into the seating area before taking any photos.